और किसके सुनिए यार हमारा एक सच्चा साथी है मिर्ची एफ एम लम्बा सा देखिए मैं लाल लाल खाए में हाय हाय टी टी तौपा में हम इंग्लिश लम्बा सा में रहता है तो क्या कहा बताए हम मिर्ची एफ एम सुनता है Tonight, volunteers conduct major cleanup to curb the spread of dengue. Landowners reopen temple. and tourism stakeholders recognized for their efforts Good evening welcome to FBC News I'm Amrita Priyadarshini Efforts are now being made by local corporate bodies and other government authorities to put a stop to the growing number of dengue fever cases in the country Sanal Sivan caught up with the cleanup crew in Nasinu this morning These men join hundreds of people in Suva to destroy breeding places of mosquitoes and put an end to dengue. The Suva City Council Kinoya Youth Group, FMF Foods Limited and Fiji Correctional Services began their cleanup from Nasinu. This is the commitment by the Commissioner of Corrections uh, to ensure that the Fiji Correctional Service is part of this uh, this awareness as well. So today uh, with that commitment uh, we're able to 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 come up with numbers today a total of uh, 250 officers from the physical correction service prime minister voringe bainimarama has made an appeal saying the whole country needs to get together to fight dengue fever before the outbreak gets worse local corporate bodies have taken on the initiative to clean the greater suva area according to the statistics from health ministry nasinu holds the highest number of dengue cases we visited the, some of the settlements here we see the debris lying uh, just like that and we it's not been taken care of tires and everything is lying in the, in the compounds but in the breeding place as from, uh, from ministry of health guys told us that it it the mosquitoes will uh, breed in the clean waters what what uh, what we 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 think that it it normally breeds in the dirty waters but what they told us is breed is clean waters it takes 3 weeks to to get a mosquito to be uh, get get infected and and one mosquito lays 100 eggs one time last week health minister dr neil sharma confirmed that the number of dengue cases skyrocketed to over 4000 it was given on monday well you get 4600 cases of um, of dengue in fiji and bulk of it is from the central division however this contradicts figures released by the information ministry which says the ministry of health has recorded 3330 confirmed dengue fever cases So far two people have died from dengue. Shanal Shivan, FBC News. A Hindu community in Saweni outside Lotoka which was prevented from entering its temple will be given a new piece of land to build a new one. This is after FBC News yesterday highlighted that they had been barred by landowners from entering their place of worship. Akusita Tale has more. The Sri Vishnu temple has been closed for nearly 2 months now by landowners. Worshippers filed a police complaint and today Lotoka's deputy police commissioner Saladieli Naivilawa was present at the temple trying to sort things out. Our temple at the moment is closed by the landowner. It's been closed from the 9th of January till that date. And uh, we have liaised with the landowner as well but he is not uh, doing any favors to us trying to open we maybe two or three times we visited him but no nothing is happening so after that i have reported this matter to the police jogana option is cheap there is only one option to relocate the temple to a new land which we will give and they will have to buy this land on lease i have volunteered to pay the premium lease to tltb and i will also give them with cement blocks in their new site The landowners are expected to call a special meeting with the temple committee in the presence of police to decide whether new temple can be built. Yana 
We will conduct a meeting on Monday with all the parties present and discuss and also confirm the area that the temple will be relocated to. But for now the temple will be open and I have allowed the people to use the temple. For now, worshippers have been allowed back into the temple. Landowners hope this is the end of the matter since they are willing to lease out another piece of land. Akusita Tale, FBC News. With Fiji's economy expected to grow by 3.6% this year, the tourism industry has been encouraged to promote the brand Fiji. Speaking at the 17th Aeon Excellence in Tourism Awards in Nandi last night, Tourism Minister Aya Sayed Kayum says branding has been one of the government's key features to provide long-term infrastructural change in the industry. Akusita Tale reports. The government has put in place policies to ensure the longevity of the industry in Fiji that connects with the rest of the society. Today we have a scenario where we have created brand Fiji and we want the tourism industry to piggyback on that. It's a very, very good scenario to be in and it is somewhere where we all need to not just position ourselves within the whole sector but as individually see how we can contribute towards the tourism industry. Aya Sayed Kayum adds that government wants to do all it can for tourism in the next few months. For any government post September 2014 is to be the facilitator, is to provide the environment for you to be able to to get more tourists into Fiji, for you to make your profits and for the tourism industry to have a very deep and socio-economic impact on the citizens of Fiji. 13 recipients walking away winners last night. Stakeholders were acknowledged for their immense contributions to raising the standard of tourism. Jeffrey Shaw, the former owner of our trigger Fiji, was recognized with a visionary award after selling his resort to Hawaii-based Outriga hotels and resorts early this month. I am a guest in your country. I, I expect nothing more, nor should I. It's been a privilege to develop two resorts, to bring them to a, uh, a sense of prominence that uh, they both enjoy internationally, which I'm so proud of. The industry has been reminded again to ensure that the Fiji dollar stays in the local economy by promoting Fiji made. Akusita Tale, FBC News. The Water Authority of Fiji says customers in parts of Suva will be experiencing water supply disruptions until further notice. This is due to low levels at the Flagstaff and Turek reservoirs. Areas affected include Queen Elizabeth Drive, Domain Ratu Sukuna Road, Nasese, Flagstaff, Muanikau, Baker Street, Waimanu Road, Robertson Road and other nearby areas. Supply will be restored once the reservoir level normalizes. Three water trucks will be carting water to the affected areas. People in affected areas are advised to store and use water wisely. Authorities are mon monitoring a trough of low pressure likely to affect most parts of the country in the following days. Weather patterns indicate a low-pressure system moving slowly towards the country and likely to intensify by Tuesday evening. This low pressure is likely to bring a high volume of rainfall and produce strong winds. In light of this, the government is encouraging members of the public to make use of current fine weather conditions to make the necessary preparations. The public is advised to continuously monitor weather reports and advisories in the coming days. Coming up, retired civil servant pushes on. Bula FM, Bula FM, number two and sir. Welcome back to FPC News. The Fiji Taxi Union Association's Lambasa branch is concerned about being ill-treated by the Lambasa Town Council. The union claims the council is not being responsible about the upkeep of taxi bases in the town. Apisalamedoka reports. This is the state of the once-knit Lambasa market stand. 
With over 50 potholes and damaging vehicles on a daily basis, drivers are wondering just when the council will fix the road here. Association President Mahendra Pratap Singh has been pleading with the council to do something about this since 2012. From that day, I am talking to the administrator and he has promised that he is going to do, but till now nothing has been done, sir. This is only the biggest stand in the Lambasa town in Market Stand. We have to park only 40 taxis can be parked here. How many is registered to park? Uh, registered is uh, stand fees. All the taxis are paying uh, in base Lambasa town is about close to 185. Singh says the state of the taxi base contributes to rising costs for taxi drivers. We have noticed uh, we have to maintain our vehicle and due to the support holes, damages occurs in the, uh, our vehicle. And uh, once damage is occurred, the cost of the things are quite high. Ambassador Town Council CEO Vijay Chan says the Fiji Roads Authority is now handling the maintenance of the Lambasa market stand. Fiji Tax Association Lambasa branch says they are unaware of the issue as it is the council that is receiving their monthly base fees. A former civil servant is showing by example that retirement is not the end of the road. Veriniki Rusangoli of Lambasa worked as a teacher all his life. And at the age of 55, he's not ready to call it quits. Apisalamedaka has the story. Having spent 33 years as a teacher, this man from the Kumbia in Vono Levu wasn't going to give up earning after retirement. Instead, he used his pension funds to invest in a shop. As a teacher, you normally get paid after two weeks. Then you have to wait for another two weeks to get paid. If I were to retire and go on pension, I would receive the pension after a month. And that amount is not enough for me to survive in a month. So this would be better to invest the money from the FNPF into business so that money can continue rotating. Veroniki Rusangoli says he did his groundwork on how to invest his savings as he knew he still had a long way to go in providing for his family. I plan to buy and sell fish and then what? Actually, I'm selling fish and then what? In the shop. I drink and what every day and I buy, I only drink pure water. Uh, the idea when my, my move is to promote quality and professionalism. After all, there's no, no bad money. The former school teacher is calling on those nearing their retirement age not to give up and look for other alternatives of investment. The best advice is that you have to plan ahead. Um, <clears throat> I was out in the I was out at teaching at uh, Lawaki District School. <clears throat> and I was talking with a teacher, a wife of his school head teacher. And she was sharing about uh, what some retirees had been sharing with her. And I thought it's better that you retire. Before you retire, you plan for something. Rusangoli has three shops in the north and has just recently opened a fish and a angona shop in Nausori. Apisola Medoka, FBC News. Coming up in sports, Sprint King and veteran powerlifter take top honours at Fiji Sports Awards. And table tennis rep prepares for upcoming internationals. Today FM is number one here in Singapore. We are today FM in Lambasa. It's rock! My favourite station in Nandi is Today FM. Uh, listening to Today FM, Today FM rocks in Suba. I love today's kid music. I love today FM because they play all my songs. We love today FM at Vunivar Lambasa. Yeah, it rocks. I love today FM because it rocks. Today's hit music on Today FM. Welcome to FPC Sports. Pacific Sprint King Banuve Tambako Loro and veteran powerlifter Saini Mili Turner were crowned the 2013 Sportsman and Sportswoman of the Year at the Fiji Sports Awards last night. It was a fitting tribute to their stellar performance in their respective fields. But nothing could be taken away from the various sporting bodies that turned up to acknowledge their efforts over the past year. Chalindao Dakadaka reports. 
again, our staff in your allocated areas are... The sporting community converged at Vodafone Arena last night to recognize the achievements of their athletes. And they were reminded once again of the importance that sports plays off the field. Because it reminded me, yet again, of the huge contribution our feet in sporting heroes overseas make in bridging divides and bringing people together. They also happen to be making a big contribution to our economy. Of the $360 million or so flowing into Fiji from overseas remittances, I'm told that about $100 million of that comes from our sports people. National sprinter Mbanube Tambakudoro's record-breaking performance at the Pacific Mini Games ahead of a strong field of nominees that included Fiji Mbati skipper and guest speaker Petro Divinidava. I'm uh, very humbled, you know. I uh, came up against some really big names uh, in uh, golf, uh, not forgetting rugby league as well, you know, Petro Divinidava. You know, we grew up watching uh, our heroes eh? and he's uh, one of the people that really motivated me in life as well. So, you know, I feel very happy that I won tonight. 60-year-old powerlifter Saini Mili Turner hopes that her win can inspire junior reps to continue to strive for the best. It's just to encourage them this year. So, you know, we are doing it now for the young one to come up. Eleven awards were handed out altogether in various categories, spread out amongst the various sporting organizations. It goes to show what tremendous efforts are being put in behind the scenes to propel our sports stars to success. Talent over Kavak, FBC Sports. Suva maintains its undefeated streak in the Fiji Sun Skipper Tuna National Football League after defeating Nandi 1 0 at Prince Charles Park this afternoon. Waisake Navun Navuningasau scored the lone goal for the capital city side in the first half. Both teams were reduced to 10 men each early in the second spell. In the other match at 7 30 tonight, Rewa hosts Lambasa at Ratu Dakambau Park. The Fiji Open Table Tennis Championship got underway today at Rewanga in Suva. It was an opportunity for national reps to get some game time under their belt with international tournaments coming up later in the year. Chalindau Zakadaka has more. Yet since secondary school fifth former Jun Yang Pak is making the most of local tournaments like the Fiji Open to prepare for the Oceania Championships in Australia as well as the Youth Olympic Qualifiers in Cook Islands. After this tournament, I'll have more chances of playing games here. And I hope that helps that in my other tournaments in overseas. This is a good preparation for me. Park has been receiving stiff competition from veteran Wong Chi in what should be a welcome challenge for the youngster. It's a good chance for him to try and beat Wong Chi, who is rated higher than him. And uh, it's a good chance for him to get selected in the team because this will be the first time Fiji is travelling to the World Championships. And it will be a milestone for Fiji Table Tennis as well as Yang Jun to be selected in the team. Park is expected to be a key member of the national side for the Oceania Cup in Australia. Talent the Kavak, FBC Sports. Occasional showers were experienced over Vanwalevu, Kandavu, Lomaiviti and the Lao group today. Elsewhere, isolated afternoon or evening showers prevailed. A trough of low pressure lies slow moving to the southwest of Fiji and extends northwestwards over Vanuatu. Meanwhile, another trough lies slow moving over Rotuma and the eastern parts of the Fiji group. Another hot day around the country. All major centres were in the low 30s today. Suva and Lambasa were a high of 33 degrees. Cloudy conditions and showers are forecast for the Fiji group with thunderstorms expected in the evening. Now for Monday, some showers over the eastern and interior parts of the larger islands, isolated afternoon or evening showers and thunderstorms elsewhere. Our main stories again, hundreds of volunteers took to the streets of Suva and Nasinu for a clean-up to curb the spread of dengue fever. Landowners in Saweni Lotoka offer worshippers a new piece of land after closing off a Hindu temple. And tourism stakeholders recognize for their efforts at annual awards in Nandi. On to the poll question. This week we ask, is there a need to review bank and finance sector fees and charges? Visit our FPC website to take part. Remember, you can send us newsworthy pictures and videos on email, citizenseyesatfpc.com.fj or share it with us via our Facebook page, FBC News. 
Or if you're on Twitter, follow and tweet us your news tips at FBC News or simply hashtag FBC News. That's all from the FBC News team for tonight. We'll be back again tomorrow evening. Until then, have a safe and enjoyable night. Nimo de Manda. Gold FM is number one here in Sigatoka. Gold FM is our favorite radio station here in Lotoka. Gold FM is number one in Nel. I love listening to Gold FM in Ba. We love listening to Gold FM on the classic hits here in Suva. Here about Bat of Cola, you immediately think of gold. I'm Josephine Sabi and I love hearing Gold FM. Gold FM, only the classic hits.